Hello everybody, I am Mustafa Jafur and I'm going to show you how to make a table in the database in Microsoft Visual Studio and in Microsoft SQL Management Studio. Later, I'm going to show you how to connect to the database. Now, open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, add a new database. I'll call it ADO demo. Add a new table ID integer name. We will insert name. Anvar car. I'm using Anvar car, but if the user types English only English characters, uh, you can change it to var car. Remove or don't allow nulls then set the primary key and go to properties identity column id so the id is primary key and auto increment now change the table name to names or anything you want click save or save all now refresh the the database or the tables okay and you see table names we will do the same thing in microsoft uh, visual studio add a new item we need sql server database i'll call it also ado demo click yes then in the app data application data you will find the database click on add the demo twice and add a new table you can use the wizard or a new query add a new table wait okay it's loading Okay, so we have ID. I need name also and varchar. As you can see, it's already primary key the ID, but we need to add identity for auto increment. Okay, now change the table to names. Click update. You can take the script okay or you can only update the database okay so in the server explorer refresh and you'll find your table names close it now add a new form Add a label view code. Now, first, we are going to connect to Microsoft SQL Management Studio. So, add this using system.data.sql client. Then, make an object of SQL connection, connection equal new SQL connection. You can leave it a blank or you can add. The connection string okay we will add the connection string so first data source and it is the name of the server you can type in your uh, computer name or make it dot okay dot SQL Express. Okay. It's better to make a dot so when you de deploy your application, if you are Windows Forms, uh, you will not change the name of the database or of the server to the new computer name. So add initial catalog and it's the name of the database. Uh, the name 
ادیو دیمو اند انتیج انتیج رایتید سیکیوریتی سیکیوریتی ایکوال ترو اند دس مینز وی آر یوزین ویندوز اوتنتیکیشن Integrated security. Okay. Here is how to connect to Microsoft SQL Management Studio. Now I'll show you how to connect to the database in Microsoft Visual Studio. So comment this and go to the solution and uh, reference. Add reference. Go to the assemblies. Type config config and then add system dot configuration not system dot configuration dot uninstall system dot configuration okay so okay you find system dot configuration in the reference now add using system dot configuration then make another object of SQL connection 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 SQL connection and leave it blind then connection dot connection string equal configuration configuration manager dot connection string now we don't have any connection string you can do an easy way if you go to web.config there is no connection string here so an easy way to make connection string add a new item add data set okay drag the drag and drop the table names from server it's uh, Dollar, then uh, click save all now as you can see here is the connection auto generated in web.config you can leave the connection name as it is or you can change it I'll leave it alone and copy paste it then connection string the name okay the name of my connection string dot connection string okay so this is the connection string okay now in the web config as you can see the connection string consists of the data source little db and the attach db file name directory you can change the data directory this to the link of your database in the projects and I will tell you why you will change it later and uh, okay now let's check if the database connected or not when we connect it okay so connection dot open means that we are opening the connection and connection dot close obviously we are closing the connection after we opening the connection we want level one dot text to uh, type in the connection string state okay so it says okay it's connected or not connection dot state dot to string okay click save all and I rebuild now view in browser and it's open now let's make this after the closing save rebuild and refresh the page and it's closed so we learned how to make a table 
in Microsoft SQL Management Studio and in Visual Studio. And we learned how to make a connection string, how to make a connection string and how to connect and also how to check for the connection if it is open or closed. Please watch my next tutorial and subscribe for more tutorials. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make insert, update, and delete and both of them. Okay. Thank you for watching my tutorial.